I do wonder if it's possible to, at scale, encourage each other to approach like social media and communication with fellow humans in that way. I don't know. How do you think that would be done? I guess like to improve the improve the quality of discourse, maybe like or even like you said, the empathy or the the decency of discourse. I think people should be you know uh, incentivized, encouraged to do that. I think most of what's we see happening on Twitter and Facebook and so on has to do with very small but very powerful uh, implementation details. It it goes down to like what is the source of the dopamine rush, the like button. Uh, the sharing mechanisms, just even small tweaks in those can fix a lot. Really, I I believe so. So like a lot a lot of the stuff we see now is the result of just initial implementations of these systems that we didn't anticipate. So the monetization comes from engagement, and the the tools we have is clicking like and sharing. It was not always obvious. It was not obvious from the beginning. It wasn't obvious while Twitter and Facebook grew that there's a big dopamine rush from getting more followers and likes and shares. So we've gotten addicted to this feeling like how many people are commenting, how many people are saying like uh, uh, clicking like and so on. So that's that dopamine rush. So we want to say the thing that'll get the most likes uh, on and like on mass in society. And then the other thing that was expected is the controversial, the divisive will get the most likes. So we, it had to do with the initial mechanisms of likes and shares resulting in an outcome that was unpredicted, which is huge amounts of division, irrespective of like any of the basics of human connection that we've actually all come to understand as society is valuable at the individual level, like we're saying, but on mass, what results is like you throw all that out and it's all just divisive at scale uh, discourse. Uh, I think it could be fixed by incentivizing personal growth, like incentivizing you to challenge yourself, to grow as an individual, and most importantly, to be happy at the end of the day. So uh, feed, like incentivize you feeling good as in in a way that's long lasting, long term. I think what makes people actually feel good is being kind to others, long term. Mm. In the short term, what feels good is getting a lot of likes, and I think those are just different incentives that, if implemented correctly, you could just build social networks that would do much better. So, do you think it comes from a structural perspective? I guess at what point does you mention like uh, you mentioned free will, and also you mentioned uh, you know feeling good, like uh, and again working hard. You know, you, I know that you have the, uh, I, I guess the uh, was it a race or um, no? It's, oh, the 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 Goggins thing. Yeah, uh, it's four by forty four by four by forty eight challenge where you run four miles every four hours for two days. That's awesome. Yeah, it's the, it's a bunch of it's it's a. Uh, the, the the challenge of it isn't just the running. The running is very tough, but it's mostly the sleep deprivation because right. you're just training every four hours. But it's a struggle, right? It's and that, struggle. But the struggle gives meaning. And ultimately, I guess so, how can we, because you mentioned, like you said, adjusting things on like a, uh, I, I guess like a programming level almost, yes. uh, base programming level so that the interface is different for the user. Yeah. But at what point does the user have a responsibility to, you know, as a, as a man or a woman or a person to just to behave more decently how can we i guess utilize what can we do it seems like you know we're like our society is so grossly missing like a martin luther king right now like the great inspiring characters throughout american history throughout world history where are the great leaders I, so le leadership is part of it but i you know that's definitely where are the great leaders is a very good question that's that's more of a question of uh, our political systems why they're not pushing forward the great leaders but there's also just uh okay there's uh, some just basic engineering shit, which is when you and I, when you, Ryan, and I are in a room alone and we're talking, even if we're strangers, the incentives are for us to get along. Like just when we're together in person, that's what I'm saying. I'm not mm. even saying some kind of- but when, you, but when you remove that. When we remove that, the 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 implementation of of the of social networks as they stand right now in the digital space have a very different set of incentives. Mm. It's more fun to destroy others, to be shitty to others, and that and it becomes this loop, endless loop, uh, like you were saying, that's ultimately destructive and not productive. And I think it has to do with just the interfaces of 
uh, making it feel good to be nice to others. Because currently it doesn't feel nearly as good to, to be nice to others on the internet. And it, it doesn't feel nearly as bad as it does in real life to be shitty to others on the internet. So the incentives are just wrong. I, I think there is a technology solution to this, or at least the solution to improve this uh, this communication mechanism. It's not obvious how. Right. I have a bunch of sort of more detailed ideas, but this is fascinating because uh, I've gotten a chance to talk to Jack Dorsey quite a bit. So he's the CEO of Twitter. And he is legitimately has, you know, in this conversation, he would agree with everything. And he's a good human being. And he has a lot of really good ideas how to improve things. The question when you're a captain of a ship, whether even it's a question whether a CEO is even a captain, how much can he actually steer that ship once it's gotten large enough? There's so much momentum. There's so many users. There's so many people who are marketing and PR and lawyers. It's very difficult to change things. Is it difficult because of the fallout or is it difficult because it's actually like literally out of his power? 